Hi friends, hello and welcome back. Today we're going to dive into the wonderful world of network scanning with Nmap. So whether you're a cybersecurity enthusiast or an IT genius, I'm going to show you how we can use this tool in a lab and we're going to smash out a whole bunch of different commands. So before we actually jump into Nmap, let me show you the lab that I've created for this video. Okay, so this is the lab that I've created. I'm using an isolated network environment within VMware Workstation. I have got a PFSense firewall acting as a gateway. I have a custom virtual switch created and I've got four VMs running. So Kali Linux is going to be the management machine that I'm going to log into and run the Nmap scans from. Ubuntu and Windows are just there just so we have additional things to scan. Metasploitable 2 is a VM that has a whole bunch of different ports and services running so this is the one that we'll primarily scan just so we can get some good results. So the network itself is using a 10.10.50.0 subnet so that's a slash 24. The default gateway as I mentioned is is the PFSense firewall that is 10.10.50.254. I have enabled DHCP on this firewall and I've also configured DNS, so it's going to use Google for the DNS. So, if you want to install MMAP, um, MMAP is available for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux, and you can download it from the nmap.org website. If you're using Kali Linux like I am, then the good news is that it's already built in, so you have nothing to do, we can just get started. Okay, so one of the first things I want to do is actually make sure my networking is set up correctly. So I'm just going to check my IP address. I'm currently using 10.10.50.56 and slash 24. Let me see if I can, let's just check the default gateway so we can see it's 10.10.50.254. Let's make sure we can talk to that. We can, and also let's make sure we can talk to the internet. Okay, so that's working. The first Nmap scan I want to do is just to scan the firewall. Simple Nmap and then 10 10 This will scan this host and then just give me a list of the ports that are open. So I can see DNS is open, port 80 and port 443 are open. We know that we're on a slash 24 subnet, so let's scan the entire range and then just see what um, hosts are online and, and talking. And that 50, that two, uh, one, that's 254. So that will scan every IP address between 1 and 254 within this range. So we can see that the scan is completed. It has found one host uh, on 10.10.50.54 10 with, with all of these open ports. That is going to be my Metasploitable 2 VM. You can also see 50.55 and 50.56. So one of these will be Windows and one of these will be Ubuntu. And I basically know that because I've set those VMs up within this lab. But in the real world, you might not know what these are. So then you would run additional scans against those hosts just so you can figure out exactly what they are. We've just run a scan that's basically scanned the entire range and give us all of the online hosts. If you have just been given, say, one or two different IP addresses, you can easily just run a scan against them without running them against the entire range. And it's just a matter of an MMAP, and then the first host IP, and then the second host IP. And that's just going to bring us back that information, stuff that we've seen before. Now, if, if you're working in like a pen testing sort of role, and you have been given a bunch of IP addresses that you have to scan, sometimes that host uh, may have some sort of piece of security software on it that will alert to you having scanned that machine. So if you wanted to run a, like a sneaky quiet scan against a host, then you can run another command. And before I do that, it's probably worthwhile just saying now that don't do these sort of scans on a work machine or anything like that. Um, and also just make sure you have permission from whoever owns the network that you're doing it because um, most corporate networks will have some sort of software on those hosts that will see you attempting to do these scans and it will just raise a whole bunch of alarms. But before we run this scan, so let me just, this scan requires us to elevate our permissions and it's SS. I'm just going to scan the Metasploitable 2 VM we did earlier. Good, so I can see same information before, you can see all of those ports are open. Not all 
services on a particular host will be using TCP, some may be using UDP, so let's do a scan that will scan for uh, open UDP ports on that machine. Now just so you know, before we do this, this can take a little while to run through this scan because it just scans all the ports. As you can see, that took ages, that took like 15 minutes in total and to do the entire scan so that's found some of these UDP ports that they are open so that's just something to be aware of whenever you're running UDP scans against a host. So now we know what hosts are available we ran scans on them so if we want to get more detailed scans like just to find out what the operating system is on say one of those particular hosts we can do that by running the mmap dash O say 10 dot 10 dot let's choose 50 dot 54 so we can see that this particular host is running Linux and it's give us version 2.6 if we want to now get the versions of the services that are currently running on the machine we can run uh, mmap dash o we're going to do dash s and then v we're going to scan that same host so now we can see, we can see the operating system, we can also see all of the services here and you can actually see what versions they are as well. You can see it's prod FTPD, see um, for port 80 it's using Apache, and see Ubuntu VM. Sometimes whenever you're in a rush and you don't really have time to analyze the results, you just want to smash out a whole bunch of, of commands and then output those to a file to sort of review later. So we can do that using the sudo nmap o capital n and then I'm going to type in results text and then I'll do dash o for the operating system s and v to detect the versions of the services and then we're going to scan n.10.50.54 again. I guess that's done. Let me just see if I can find that. So okay, yeah, you can see here see this results file so this thing gives you an idea this will give you all the information that we've seen previously if you wanted to do a detailed scan against a particular host you can easily do that by using the sudo map dash a 10.10.50.54 so this is an aggressive scan that will scan the host and pull back a lot of detailed information okay so let's we go back up we can see it's found a lot more information on that particular host. It's went across all the different services and it's pulled a whole pile of info that you can use. Previously, we looked at how we could scan individual hosts or the full entire range. If you wanted to run the scan against the range but exclude some IP addresses, like say for example that 54 was like a honeypot or was something that you basically didn't want to scan, you wanted to avoid, you can easily do that by using the nmap, pseudo nmap. You can use the dash dash exclude 50.54 and then we'll type in dash 1254. So this will scan the entire range excluding 54. For an intense scan that combines like comprehensive service detection and then scans all TCP ports, we can use the, the sudo and map dash capital A dash P and then I'm going to go 10 that 50 that 54 this one can take a few minutes to run though okay so that actually took about um, two or three minutes to actually run that entire scan so it's, this is the scan and it's brought back a whole pile of different information about the that machine as well so you can see here it is comprehensive if you want the detailed information about a particular host, this is what you would do. You will realize that some of these commands can take quite a long time to run. There is a command you can add. You can add the dash T and then a number between zero and five. Five is the fastest and zero is the slowest, but the faster you do it, you run the command, um, the more riskier you are of being, you know, of the host figuring out that you're on the scan against it. So let me run the previous scan again and see if it's much faster. Okay, so that was a little bit faster than the previous time. 
other ways you can speed up some of these scans is to just scan the top 100 ports if you just wanted a fast scan that just uh, we'll, we'll just use those top 100 ports that was pretty fast to get those results say for example you just wanted to scan for open say open rdp ports across the network range you could use mmap there's p and then we'll go 3389 and then i'm just going to scan this 50 that one that two five four so that's just going to scan the range and give me anything back that has three three eight nine opened so we can see here that the 10.10.56 that has three three eight nine open and so it is 55 and yes yeah, so it is 54. if i've just been given a network range and i just want to do a ping sweep to see what is up i don't want to scan anything i just want to do a check and see what was responding can easily do that using the nmap-sn I'm going to scan the whole 50.0 slash 24 subnet let's come back to tell me which hosts are up going back to what we did earlier is where we only scanned the network and we only wanted to see ports um, 3389 you can actually do the reverse of that so if I want to do I wanted to scan the entire range and exclude say 443 from that scan. I can exclude 443 and under 10.10.50. Let's just do the whole range. So you see that's found all of these hosts. I know that 54 has 443 opened, and you see here it's just, it's just excluded it. And finally, one thing to not forget is scanning IPv6 addresses. I don't actually have anything in or on my actual network on IPv6 at the moment, but you can scan IPv6 by just an mmap-6 and then the IPv6 address of a particular host on your network. So that's it. I, I love using mmap. I've been using it for years now and it seems like every time I come back I just keep learning new commands. So if you're interested in cybersecurity and, and hacking then build yourself a lab. I actually have a video that I created and I'll link it below or somewhere around here that you can use to build your own lab at home. One of the VMs I used in today's lab was Metasploitable 2 which is a good VM. Um, it has a whole bunch of ports already open that you can use um, so it's perfect for nmap scanning and just learning about nmap so anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked the video then give it a like if you would like to subscribe then please smash the subscribe button thank you again and hopefully i will see you again on another video bye for now